What are you looking for most from tonight? I'm just looking forward to just being around great people, great energy, and essentially just so grateful to be given the opportunity to, you know, be here and, you know, be recognised amongst some amazing talent and some amazing, you know, um, whether it be actors or producers, music artists, whatever, you know, fashion it is, just being amongst these people and, and able to celebrate our successes. Can you tell us a little bit more about your role in the first Purge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, the first Purge, I played a character called Isaiah, in which was the brother of Naya, and he was the eyes through the Purge. You know, he was your opportunity to see if you was in the Purge, what would it be like? And, you know, you got taken on that experience. And, you know, the Purge was an amazing experience, and it took me to the place where I am now and opened up a great opportunity for me, you know, now playing Cyborg in Doom Patrol. And, yeah, you know, the Purge was an amazing opportunity for me. So, yeah, can't deny it. Everything is given to me and I'm so grateful. Um, you're among the 10 uh, Brits to watch. What, what does it make feel you like? It, it's, it's amazing, you know, it's like to be amongst, there's so many professionals, so many creatives within our industry and to be named and looked at, you know, for 10 Brits and be, and be a part of that is, is mind blowing. And I've always wanted to be a part of Variety and be noticed within this magazine. And so it's a dream come true, to be honest. So yeah, I'm just excited. I'm a, I'm a young boy, excited and ready to, you know, just experience it all. Can you tell us a bit more about your next project? Yes, uh, my next project is uh, Doom Patrol, which is a DC show. Uh, I'm playing Cyborg, uh, AKA Vic Victor Stone. And this series is, it's a superhero show, but it's not your typical superhero show. You know, you've got these characters in which are Elasta, Elastic Girl, you've got Negative Man, you've got Robot Man, you've got Crazy Jane, and they are anti-heroes. Not only are they anti-heroes, but they are anti-hero. You know, they don't want to be heroes. And we, we really get an opportunity to spend time with these characters. And anyone can relate to any of these characters because there's so many different characters with different problems. And, you know, it's it's a great opportunity. It's a, it's a, it's a huge, it's a huge, um, um, uh, cast and production, and I can't wait for everyone to see it. The Ray Fisher version in Justice League is a much younger cyborg, but it's you know, the start of his journey as cyborg. He, he's not got all of his elements yet, we're going to see him grow throughout the series, and new gadgets and new experiences and opportunity to grow as you know, a superhero, a character, and also how you know, he deals with everything which is happening with him being half robot, being a cyborg. And we're going to spend a lot of time with that the series. That's really great thing. Exactly, like, that's, that's the biggest thing. And even it's really exciting, you know, the prospect of Titans too. And being able to, you know, take this character and, and play in this new DC universe world, I have no idea, you know, what crossovers they're going to do and when or whatever it is. But just the premise of that being able to happen is, is phenomenal. I can't wait.